28. You've got to give Kosedna props for being in there. Here we go, round one. Let's see how this plays out. He fights Southpaw the last time he injured his thumb. He's back in the game. He's had time to recover. How this goes, no one knows. Yeah, very intriguing. Two Southpaws, so close stance. Oh, nice. Left hook counter. Yeah, that check hook there caught Bojan uh, um, Bojan Kosedna. He rocked him. He's left himself open for that. Good style, good clean stance. Kosedna, but he's getting tagged. Kosedna's got to go for the clinch here. That's my key. He could really cause Yankovic a lot of problems there. So still in the upright. Kosedna, happy to kickbox so far. Looking fairly comfortable. Yankovic, not stressed. Oh, spinning back kick. Ushiro Mawashigeru, we like that. Kosedna on top form, throws that in the mix. Yankovic has caught him twice with the counter left, three times. The hometown crowd in support of Kosedna. On his toes, moving laterally, he's doing everything right, but he's getting caught, Kosedna. The low kick, that check hook, and uh, Southpaw starts not playing well for Kosedna here tonight because Yankovic has got him marked. Low kick, that check left hook. So, leisurely start so far. Let's see what the rest of the bout brings. Yankovic is able to toy with him here, especially going in orthodox when it's open, and then he'll swap up, chamber it by bringing his right foot forward and then throw the left. He's hit him three times with that will. A little bit of showboating from... Jankovic wants to draw Kosedna in. Look at the high kick. Comes from nowhere. Electrically fast, that was. Speed of lightning. So not looking to engage that quickly, Kosedna. Jankovic drops him with a left hand. It's a knockdown. Absolutely kisses canvas, Kosedna. And look at Jankovic. Doesn't look stressed by it, but Kosedna now on top. That was that left, Will. He was looking for it, looking for it. Beautiful timing. That's the problem. Jankovic in space, dangerous. Welcome to the house of fun. But Jankovic carrying an injury to the nose. Somehow, Kosedna has worked his way in and caused a bit of an upset there. That nose in a lot of trouble. And this is where Kosedna works. Look at him put the forearm in the cross face from that side control position and too leisurely Alexander Jankovic could pay the price here Kosedna on this now like Velcro Kosedna is doing a really nice job of just slowing the pace keep that underhook and by underhook I mean the fact that he's got his left arm really tight to the hip and then can move it up almost grabbing the rear shoulder anything to flatten all four corners both hips both shoulders Jankovic Worse for wear and tear, he's been royally roughed up on the ground. And uh, this is Kosedna's office. And he's looking to get some purchase on the arm here. Jankovic having to defend furiously. You've got to give it to Kosedna to go for a submission this early on. Trying to find anything that's available. He was thinking about going to Americana. He's going north-south choke. Can't get it. Nice turtle here from Jankovic. Kosedna spinning to the back. Keep him riding. Heavy pressure here from Kosednar. Nice to see that sequence. Jankovic gets up to the upright, but he's had a tough time down on the mat. And Kosednar gets out of space. And they touch gloves. And that's an acknowledgement, acknowledgement from Jankovic that uh, Kosednar didn't come to this unprepared. So under a minute left in this first round. And Jankovic, well, looks to me to be... A lone sailor on a very rough sea. It's been nice adaptations here from Kasednar. He's done the right things. He's adjusted. He got that takedown. Some bad reads on the feet, though. He was dropped very badly. And all from the same thing. He likes to slow the pace. He likes to readjust. And, uh, unusual style. Jankovic knows he's got to do something here. And he comes forward, Jankovic. Starts to bring the heat, some kicks, flying knee strike. They're going to have to clean him up in between rounds. But, uh, I think he surprised Jankovic that he came under so much pressure so early. 
but he might have just been a little too leisurely here. And he got hurt. They're going to have to work very hard. Unbelievable round. Such a strong round for Jankovic. Drifting quite clearly in his favor, and then a complete change of course. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Left hand, left hand, left hand, all about the left hand. And a couple of times it was a counter, a couple of times he led. It was interesting to see he started to lead with confidence. But this is where it all changed. Kasednar just flattening him. Here he was thinking about trying to isolate that far side arm. Could have spun for an arm bar, then thought about the Americana. Nice to see him busy the whole way. I have no idea who won that round. Still dangerous towards the end there, Jankovic. But uh, the corner of Kosedna absolutely ramming in instructions. Good solid performance so far, I have to say, from Kosedna. He's managed the pace, he's thrown the curves. Jankovic may have just been a little overconfident. If they've cleaned him up now, let's see what he can do in this round. He's definitely got the stoppage power. But Kosedna got the experience, 40 years of age, still in the game. Props for that. Round two of a scheduled three. And obviously not enough for a oh, high kick. Beautiful. Jankovic, they've cleaned him up and he's back in the game. Jankovic has got to keep doing the dance here in the middle. I'm going to give him that round. Immediate impact scores higher. So I'm going to give him that round 10-9. But boy, was that a close round. So the confidence is back. I think the corner have said to him, you know, this looked a lot worse than it was, the damage, and he's back in there, and he is wild, isn't he? Like a Mustang with Wasabi up its rear end when he goes, he bucks. I said that. Still dancing in and out, just tripping the pocket line. Fantastic. Difficult, difficult character to assess, Kosedna. Gets on his toes, moves back. Great footwork. You know, props. He's having fun out there. And uh, Jankovic just quite hasn't got this measured. Controlling the centre very well. Jankovic, right left combination. And he can take a shot, Kosedna. There's no doubt about his chin. Little repositioning. Little upsets. Just making the target a little harder to hit. Keeps the crosshairs active. Jankovic needs to get locked on. And they strike straight through the middle and he tags him with the right hand again. Kosedna's taking shots here. There's no two ways about it, but uh, Jankovic not managed to land anything meaningful, but he's hitting big, throwing big. And he's picking them apart here. That's the thing. There's a big difference in hand speed. And when Jankovic can shuffle, we saw that little cut to the right or left, and he finds a way for the left hand. Again, it's been like two or three times that his rear hand has beat Kasednar's rear hand. And when they're in that kind of a position, he can never win that battle. And there's the shoot. Doesn't work well. It was a shame. Goes for the double leg takedown. Working off his back now. That's not good because this is where Posedna lives. Those elbows, the forearm smashing, the ground and pound. And uh, just vicious work from Posedna. Referee looking closely. In a bit of trouble, Jankovic. And covering up. Is he defending? He's being manhandled by Kosedna here. This is massive. This is exactly what Kosedna needed to be able to win this round. Piling it on. Referee steps in. It's a win for Kosedna. The ground and pound did it. It was fast and furious. After the first shots were fired. No doubt about it. So, Kosedna. Rushing up now to uh, celebrate with his fans.
So a win, Jankovic must drink from the bitter chalice that is defeat. Four fight win streak comes to an abrupt end here tonight.